Okay, did you know the new Doctor Who has the same name as you? Yes, I did. And actually, um, we are trying to, we're, we're, I'm doing this uh, thing for Funny or Die. Uh, I don't know if I can talk about this, but whatever. I'm just going to talk about everything, and then if I can fire it off everything next week, you all know why, because I love you guys. Um, no, I'm doing this thing for Funny or Die where we, uh, where we call each other. So, um, <laughs> yes, I did. And, I, and, and actually, he booked that forever ago. And um, it was funny because uh, we both were, I was going to be Common Rider and he was going to be Doctor Who. I'm using my chapstick as a pointer. <laughs> but uh, at the same time, and it's funny because, you know, that's in Europe. So they have totally different acting unions, totally different everything. So whichever one of us hopefully blows up first, it's going to be weird. Or if we do it at the same time, because we could very well be in the same movie with the same name. I don't, my middle name is Francis. It's terrible. Oh Sorry, my god, are you serious? Ugh, Francis? Francis Smith. Oh, that's yes. terrible. Chapstick for dramatic effect. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> like Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Oh, my favorite movie. I bet you hate your parents. Uh, what? I bet you hate oh, your parents. I love my parents. No. I'm just kidding. I do love my parents. Uh, my favorite movie. Hold on, I'll get it. Oh. Can't hear you for like two seconds. This, this is my favorite movie ever. It's Brian Miss Jean Brody. You've probably never seen it or watched it, but it's Maggie Smith. It's from. Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Crime of Miss Jean Brody, 1968. Maggie Smith. Pretty incredible movie for an actor. Uh, thank you, Chelsea. Yes, I do work out every day. I try. I've been... Lighting change. Probably because I stood up and I have a weird computer. You're supposed to say uh, I work out every day with, like, the deep man voice. I work out every single go. day. What do you mean a deep man voice? <laughs> all right, I was talking like this source the chat then. <laughs> no, just <clears> that <throat> line. It's okay. Okay, all right. I'm going to ask you what I think is the most important question on this list. Because I asked this question to everybody. And somebody else asked it. So, okay, Matt. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you prepared for the zombie apocalypse? Um... <laughs> Yes, and I'll tell you why. Yes. I have, I have an entire, behind this door, it looks like my bedroom, but I have a whole bunker back there, okay? And I'm not even kidding. We got supplies, we grow our own food in this house, I mean, we have our own water system, our own electrical power systems, I mean, this place, I'm not even in Hollywood, guys, <laughs> I'm under a mountain in Colorado right now. Yes. It's a lie. It's all that. Hollywood doesn't even exist. They took them to a set in Hollywood. <laughs> They're lying. They're not, she's in a bunker, too. She's right. She's standing, actually. She's right behind the door. Alex is right over there. I am so prepared oh, for yeah. zombie apocalypse, too. You're my favorite person, Matt. <laughs> oh, my God. Elm. Elm is it. All right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Have I gone skiing? Um, I'm an awful, awful skier. Can I do a Terminator impression? I'll be back. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you're way up there, dude. <laughs> that what? was like what? a million questions ago on this thing. Was it? Yeah. Oh, my real. No, at the at the newest one I have. Are you serious? Yeah, I have funny Alex <laughs> lagging lag. It's pretty up to date. Oh, okay. Now you're Laugh no, you caught up. Now you're good. Off. You're good. <laughs> my favorite season. Uh, my favorite season. Uh, probably spring. Nice one, man. <laughs> I like summer because that's the only time that we see the sun here in Washington <laughs> for like three yeah, we weeks. See the sun a lot here. Three weeks out of the year. Favorite childhood memory. That's a good one. Favorite childhood memory. Um. Okay, I can go really dorky. You guys want? <laughs> go dorky, super dorky. Super. Um, <laughs> the first time I got on stage, Del, I like to perform. Um, no, I just, uh, I, I remember the first time I ever, I did a, ah, can you hear me now? I hate, I feel like I'm screaming when it works. Um, I did a play when I was nine, this place called Haddonfield Plays and Players, and I got up on stage and had a really small, um, part in it but it was like the best experience ever because i got down i was finally doing what i loved so. um but what is your favorite quote oh god i actually just got a really cool one hold on i'll actually read it to you i'll read you my new favorite quote i get a new favorite it's a long one alex are you ready for my favorite quote <laughs> i need to i need to hear it there you go i need it to mumble at least okay 
pretty like deep, but I liked it. I saw it in Sedona. All right. <clears throat> that. What is that noise? <laughs> Awful, oh, Sprite. Pepsi, okay. All right. Ahem. All right, I'm going to talk really loud. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is but one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and blended plans, that the moment one definitely commits one's providence moves to. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never have otherwise occurred. A whole stream of events issue from that decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents and Material assistance, which no one could have dreamed would have come his or her way. Whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin your life now. Oh, I... <laughs> Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. <laughs> long one. I know, right? <laughs> Everybody's like, what? That's a really long quote. I took a picture of it in my in the restaurant I was eating at. <laughs> if you could be an ice cream flavor, what would it be? Ice cream flavor? If you could be one. Uh, <laughs> I would be probably mint chocolate chip. Because, like, surprising. You don't really expect <laughs> Lentil soup. Yes, lentil soup would be the... the... <laughs> um, I don't particularly love mint chocolate chip, but I just think that's the Okay, let's do a little more serious one. How do you deal with procrastination? <laughs> oh, I watch TV, and then I read a book, and then I fall asleep. Oh. Oh, no, oh, you want me to I, oh, answer something that's real? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not how do you okay. procrastinate, how do you get over procrastinating? <laughs> Sleeping, no, um, I'm very, I'm very driven, like, I'm very, I'm kind of, uh, I'm a crazy person. He'll answer that question um, later. <laughs> I know, I thought it was funny. Um, I just I just commit myself. Like, I get up at 4 a.m. every morning. I try to be in bed by, like, 10, 30, or 11. Um, I'm very, if I, I find if I get up early and I, I make a list for myself the day before, I'll, I, yeah, you noticed I had some energy? Yeah, I have a little, little bit of energy. I had a lot of birthday cake last, last couple Such an Aries. <laughs> Renisha. Renisha's one of my best friends. She's in there right now. She's also my stylist, except she's probably going to yell at me because I'm wearing... Um, you all should follow Renisha Davis in there, by the way. Anyway, um, I, if I write a list the night before, I get everything done. If I just wake up, I will get nothing done. So, that's pretty much. I write a list the night before. Oh. What pillow I use? <laughs> His cat, all obviously. Right. <laughs> duh, uh, I mean, duh, hold on, uh... Matt is, is seriously a creepy cat woman. He's got a bajillion cats. <laughs> Not all mine. It's because my family moved in with me. Um, there it is. I'll mail it to someone. Charge. <laughs> uh, it's not that comfortable. I don't know. I'm a weird sleeper. I like If there's like a floor or a flat surface, I pretty much 